what's going on guys in this video we're going to be talking about my crystal builds that i use in bdo we're going to go over some specific builds we'll start off with the general pve build but then we'll talk about uh the giants build a uh, gyphons dekia thornwood olens and dekia olens those are the main ones that i use and i rotate between for pretty much all the content i've been engaging in um this is going to focus only on pve pvp is a very specific to your build in your class um these pve builds also change depending on uh, what class you're playing because some classes need more accuracy some classes need less you might opt for more tankiness or if you're very geared you can sacrifice the tankiness for more dps so it really does depend but in this video we're focusing on pve and those are the builds that i'm going to go over and once you go through this video if you find it helpful please do like comment and subscribe and check me out at twitch.tv slash i'm pansy where i stream all right if you're looking for the beginner mid game and end game general builds i do go over those in my gear progression guide link will be in the description down below so you can check that out but here's my general pve build that i use in bdo this is basically the catch-all it's what i use at most places now let me explain some caveats here first thing is the gear and steer you don't have to use a gear and steer those are expensive and really risky to lose but you can obviously replace that with gear and fragment which is only like 500 mil but you get the same offensive stats defensive stats and the um accuracy as well just like all the other Garen's crystals when you go to Garen's crystal specifically you get more hp mp and stamina and Garen's tier gives you additional resistance item drop rate special attack damage combat xp skill xp and stuff so uh, you don't have to go for the higher ones if you are unsure about staying alive then Garen's fragment is more than worth it. it it is a large amount of stats for what it is so you can easily swap that over but the first thing i want to talk about is the offensive crystals you'll see in all my builds um there's you're going to be picking one of two the corrupted magic crystal or the crystal of mysterious darkness crystal of mysterious darkness this is for back attack spots spots that you'll have a lot of uptime on the back attack damage gyphons olin so in spots where you don't get a lot of back attacks like even if you're focusing on you know rotating around and getting them the mobs will be moving around turning around so uh, whenever they turn around and you don't get a back attack damage that's a dps loss so usually i sit on the corrupted magic crystals and they are pretty cheap so uh if i die and lose that i'm i'm actually happy that i didn't lose something more expensive so the next crystal is a uh, glorious uh crystal of gallantry acrad this is also a a common crystal i use in all my builds it's a monster ap accuracy and attack speed attack speed and casting speed these are important now that difference in attack speed is actually noticeable and some for some classes it's more noticeable than others and in addition to that you can also get um the alucas as well for attack speed even though it's for human damage and pvp mostly or in human damage spots but the attack speed is noticeable for certain classes but uh yeah the, these acrads are usually there in every single build for me then you have the expensive ones the rebellious uh these are really expensive because one you get um a lot of damage off it uh five hidden ap as well as five monster ap but most importantly is the hp 175 hp so if you have two of these man that's 350 hp that's a huge difference but they are so expensive so uh be careful when you're using them uh you might want to swap it out for one of these other uh less expensive crystals if you have them uh if you're unsure about you staying alive but even the others they're not that easy to come by I see them on pre-orders on the marketplace quite often but they're they're pretty standard for most builds as well then you have the decimation the, uh, the crystal of brutal decimation these are uh solid for back attack spots uh they also give a good amount of monster ap which uh is something that uh, i try to pump up and hit the caps for the spots and once you hit the caps then you can think about going species damage and stuff but usually for a general build i'll throw these in there and then you have the uh, ultimate combined magic crystal macalod these are goaded because of the amount of ap you get and that is a lot of ap coming from the two set four set as well as just the individual crystals themselves so these can be pretty uh hard to get because there's a lot of pre-orders on them usually uh, the price isn't too bad it's like you know about a bill but it's mostly the pre-orders um be careful when you're using these uh harder to get crystals especially if you're uh playing with a shaky internet connection and you're not sure about like dcs and stuff so uh, more importantly than the amount they cost it also takes time to pre-order these so just be careful on those and then the last row you see it's gonna this is gonna be a common thing you'll see for my other builds as well the last row is reserved for flex so if you're playing a class that needs more accuracy you might be putting in an alcar and a couple of gin vipers or something or you might just take one viper usually one viper will cover me and for which i don't really need it it's more for my berserker 
who um who spins have less accuracy compared to other skills so usually if i'm making any swaps it's in the bottom row and that's going to be common for all my builds but right now we have the uh lucas uh crystals i prefer that two percent attack speed bonus versus uh getting another 10 uh, ap you can get more ap through um the power crystal uh, or the valor crystals dark fang uh dark red fang crystal valor um either one is good uh you can just pump up more ap if you need it but i prefer attack speed and you know you also get some accuracy out of them all right that covers my general build now let's move on to uh more focused builds um starting off with giants so the thing about giants is these mobs are human type mobs so human damage does really well on them so even in your add-ons if you have human damage on them as well as monster ap you're going to be benefiting when you're at the spot in addition to crystals you can also pump up your human damage with a lightstone set uh the one with blight which gives you human damage so when I face off um, against giants, like when I'm grinding there, I use the lightstone set for human damage, my crystal set, as well as the elixir of indignation, which gives you 25 human damage. So uh, you stack it all the way up. You want to be aiming for about 130 human damage or more, because once you get it to that point and you're also hitting the AP cap with the monster AP, you're going to be like two, two shotting those mobs, uh, three shotting those mobs, and you're going to be grinding really fast. It makes a huge difference. And that's one of the ways you pump up your performance there and it becomes a spot where you're pulling over a bill an hour quite comfortably so let's go over the crystal build here um starting off with the uh, corrupted magic crystals uh you don't get too much back attacks there i'm just going pack to pack tapping them as soon as possible so i pr prioritize speed rather than positioning because of the sheer amount of damage we do with all the human damage we stack up so uh, corrupted magic crystals are my preference then the rebellious spirit crystals uh general ap and hp there and then we go into the human damage that is going to come from the karma red battlefield karma that's eight human damage each then we have two um uh, red battlefield vipers that's another 10 human damage each and then we have the alucas those are another seven a piece along with the attack speed then we have the acrads regular uh, monster ap and attack speed a uh, brutal decimation just for more uh ap and a little bit of back attack damage you know you do get some back attacks in there and uh some elite mob spawn and you might get the boss so uh, definitely doesn't hurt and of course we have the garens here and we have a dark red fang uh, crystal of valor uh, this is just for raw ap you can replace that with uh power as well all right next up is gyphon this is one of my favorite spots to grind and it is just such a great spot because it's so chill and there's so many rotations there it can sustain a lot of players and you don't have to run pack to pack so i really love gyphons um here's the build here we're going to be going with the mysterious darkness crystals because you get a lot of back attack damage now if you're a class which or if you're a player who doesn't have a lot of gear score or you're a class which doesn't have a lot of singular burst damage single target damage but has a lot of aoe wide aoe's you can actually switch this out for the corrupted magic crystals because you'll be focusing on more trash loot from the mobs which spawn uh in, at a higher rate once despair is killed um over bursting down the main gyphon so it depends on your class it depends on where you're at with your gear me personally i'm always one tapping those uh side mobs the trash mobs even with the mysterious uh darkness crystals so i go with this and it gives you a giga amount of back attack damage when you're fighting the uh, bigger gyphon mobs so definitely those two we got the rebellious uh spirit crystals the acrads and the maclods and of course the brutal decimation because you get a lot of back attack damage here uh, which is great the gear ends for the usual uh stat huge amount of stat boost and also the special attack damage from the gear and steer because Gyphons is a place that you, they can hit really hard but if you're really comfy grinding there you shouldn't ever die really me I get distracted by chat but usually I don't die because everything is predictable there's nothing uh that's really uh based on RNG other than butcher spawning and then after but after you kill butcher you just go uh, nuke the purple mob before it could do anything so for the most part it's a safe spot so I'll except for DCs but um I go with the uh, gear and steer and then you have the Olicus crystals and the red fang valor uh, the bottom row of course is flex you can put in your uh alcars and uh your gin vipers if you need more accuracy next up is uh Dekia thornwood uh Dekia thornwood is a very popular spot to grind even after the nerf it's a really nice spot to grind um Honestly, I, I enjoy it more after the nerf. The mobs are dying faster and I'm getting more uh, ominous ring drops because more kills per hour from the mobs and that's translating to more rings per hour for me. So I like it. 
I like it. Anyway, the build is going to be the Corrupted Magic Crystals, the Rebellious Acrads, and Macalods. Those are pretty standard everywhere. I went ahead and got the Brutal Decimation, pump up that uh, monster AP. And um, yeah, that's perfectly fine. And you get a little bit of back attack here and there, especially against the Elite uh, DK spawn. And the Red Fangaller just to fill in the blank and add some more AP. Garen's Tear, of course. And here we use the Fighting Spirit Crystal. So Ancient Magic Crystal of Nature, Fighting Spirit for the Knockback Resist. You don't need this because knockback isn't as lethal as you know knockdowns but it is so annoying it's so annoying when you get chain knockback so you know just putting these two in there and along with everything else all your other stats and stuff it, i i don't even run a calcs or anything anymore i run courage so um these two should be sufficient man like uh, this should give you enough of a breathing room that you're not uh getting chain cc'd whenever you're in between protections and stuff so as a awakened witch i don't even need these it's just that i get distracted talking to chat so <laughs> that's when i get in danger um but for the most part if you need it you need it otherwise you can uh go without them and just replace it with more damage and if you want more accuracy you can replace the a dark red fang valor and the brutal decimations here to fill in the blank for any accuracy requirement all right next up is olin's i absolutely love olin's olin's got buffed um multiple times over the past uh year and it's great it's a lot of money you can go hang out with a couple of buddies and all three of you make over a bill an hour now quite comfortably so here's the build i use for regular olin's the uh, signature thing for olin's is going to be the resistance because you don't want to get uh knocked down or anything Thing when Olin, the big Olin is doing a big skill, right? Or, you know, you don't want to get comboed out by them. So all parties generally run a shy. So uh, if you're a non-resist class and pretty much for every class, you can just go with a red battlefield crystal giant and a red battlefield crystal adamantine. And along with shy buffs, the 40% of resist or something you can get from them and coupled in with all your other buffs and stuff, uh, these should be more than sufficient to get you to 100% resistance for uh, KD and uh, whatnot. So in addition, uh, for the regular uh, DPS portion of the build, uh, we're going with the Crystal of Mysterious Darkness. You get a lot of back attacks. It's really easy to maneuver behind the Olin, and uh, that's where the priority of the DPS comes from. DPSing down the little guys isn't too difficult, and uh, maneuvering around them isn't too hard either. So Crystal of Myst Mysterious Darkness is usually my go-to. Uh, then the Rebellious Crystals, of course, Akrad, Macalod, Brutal Decimation, and Gearn's Tear, and uh, one Viper. So at Olin's, you do need accuracy. Even with a Witch, I go in with a, a Viper um, for certain skills that do I do see misses with. But uh, for the most part, if you need more accuracy, replace the Brutal Decimations, and you should be good. Now, finally, Olin's Dekia. So Dekia Olin's is a lot more chill to do. It's sure you're just sitting at one tower. Olin spawns, you kill it. You just wait for the next spawn, kill it. Very chill, but they do hit really hard. The purple skills hit really hard in general, but he also has nukes. Now, usually for some, some players, a nukes is a one shot. But me, I can survive a tick of it. So even if I get clipped by the first tick, that gives me enough breathing room to react to the rest of the attacks. So for that reason, I threw in some uh, Crystal of Frozen Bitterness here. But now I don't run those anymore because I'm really comfortable with the mechanics. I know exactly what's going to happen when it's going to happen. So for me, I don't need any defensive crystals there at all. And I replaced it with DPS. But if you're starting out at Dekia Olin's, definitely go in for a little bit more tankier build for those uh, that extra amount of damage until you get a feel for it until you understand how much of your forward guard is getting depleted how much of your hp is going to get uh, depleted through your forward guard and once you get a good feel for it then you can replace it with dps and instead of going for the uh, mysterious darkness crystals i went for the uh, magic crystal the corrupted magic crystals because the ads are a lot more clumped and moving around and aggroing different people usually so um i'm not getting perfect back attacks i do maneuver around for back attacks a lot but because we're iframing the uh, mechanics from the Olin's a lot I'm also maneuvering around out of position so it's more comfortable for me to have the magic crystal the corrupted magic crystals here rebellious obviously HP damage Akrads, Macalods, brutal decimation now um after I removed the uh bitterness I went with the brutal decimation and a, a red fang valor for more DPS and of course the Gearance tier uh if you're not confident with surviving with the Gearance obviously <laughs> change it to a Gearance fragment but yeah this pretty much covers uh Dekia Olin's all right guys that's about it for my crystal builds those are mostly what i use and i just shuffle around that bottom row with more accuracy less accuracy more dps and such as i need it uh, depending on the class i play 
But for the most part, these cover me at all the places I do grind. Now, the only spot additionally I grind is uh, probably Hex, but you know, the general PV build covers Hex quite comfortably for me. So anyway, I hope this was uh, helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section down below. I like, comment, and subscribe, of course, and check me out at twitch.tv slash I'm Pansy, where I stream. And yeah, I hope this is helpful, guys. Take it easy.